all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol tsla tesla inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so tesla inc has actually had a wild run i mean we have seen this rise up from about 408 and some change all the way up to this high point here at 467.01. It's actually right now leveled off at 463.05. And I want us to look quickly at the chart, what it's showing us. And I want to go ahead and inform everyone why this is actually happening and what to expect from this for the next couple of weeks. And also leading towards the end of the month and the beginning and mid month of December. So right now, the resistance level that the bulls need to break through is 464.65. They need to turn that into a support to continue this momentum and not allow the 50 day moving average, which is way down here at 411.78 to be exact, to not catch up to the price. So that the bulls can continue this momentum, they're going to wanna to break through resistance at 464.65. Now here we have our support and the support level right now currently based off of the chart and it's one of the lowest points in that same candlestick is 450.10 i'd pay very close attention to how the stock is reacting if that gets broken through and then you can go ahead and break it down to the next support level which would be down here at this point at 437.06 and then you got another one to break down here to kind of chop it up and see the different levels at 420.12. So you can go ahead and break it down into those points so that you can see how the stock is reacting in between those areas as it's going down or as it maintains itself above those numbers. But if you go ahead and draw lines at those areas, you'll be able to break it down and see the different support levels and resistance levels that were formed on the way up because of the fact that this will still be in bullish territory as it breaks through all of these. And you're going to want to see the behavior, how it acts in between each one. And finally, how it's going to act between 4.20.12 and the 50-day moving average of 4.11.78. And then you're going to also want to look at how it's acting between 4.37.06 and 4.20. And then you're going to want to look at how it's acting between 4.50.10 and 4.37. So... You're going to want to go ahead and break those down, have an idea. But the most important number here for the bulls to break through right now is this first resistance level to then break through newer highs and new resistance levels. So why is Tesla right now actually in the position where it ran up and it's broken through not new highs because the highest points were up here at the 465 mark. It's actually leveled off slightly below it. But it actually broke through it at the highest point, closer to 470, uh, 67, excuse me. And is it going to continue to break through newer highs? Certainly can if it continues this momentum. And if it ran up like this, why did it? Well, for those of you that are not aware, this is an article from Bloomberg. It actually came out an hour ago. And probably a lot of people weren't understanding why uh, the S&P 500 uh, was actually... Uh, getting in the position to rise in these last couple of days well to let you know that if tesla gets added into the s p 500 it's going to be one of the largest new members and it's going to make a big portion of the s p 500 i look forward to seeing somebody kind of break it down and tell us what's the percentage but you can already see if we look here at the s p 500 index how it's been acting leading towards you know the end of november and also how is it going to act towards december we'll see what type of impact because the s p 500 is probably already excited on that announcement even more so we might even see tomorrow and the rest of this week how does the s p 500 react to that news and even though it's not right now in it until right december 21st indirectly and directly it could affect the s p 500 and most likely indirectly for now as this continues to play out and we're gonna see how it leads up to that point because overall the tesla adding to uh, the s p 500 is gonna make an impact and it should be 
a tremendous one because it's going to be a big portion of the S&P 500 index. That's going to be very interesting. And here we are with it confirmed that it's going to go ahead and be part of the S&P 500 on December 21st and follows months of speculation and the temporary setback after the stock failed to make the cut during the index quarterly rebalancing in early September. That's why it didn't happen previously. And now the anticipation is saying that it's going to happen. So that's why it's actually running up and the S&P 500 index is going to have Tesla join it on December 21st. And that's going to be something big. And I can only imagine Tesla going up from there. And obviously the volatility of the market and so forth. But this is going to be a major addition to the S&P 500 index. And if you guys don't realize this, the S&P 500 index is the Fortune 500 of America. If they're adding an electric car vehicle EV company to the Fortune 500, EV cars are going to become part of the future and the economy in some way, shape, or form, either in the near future or somewhere in along the way. If it's getting added to the S&P 500, EV cars are going to have an impact on the economy of America. So keep that in mind as well. Super interesting to see that. And Tesla is going to continue to attract investors as we see it and probably with this information. So pay close attention to the S&P 500 index leading up to December 21st. And then also keep in mind how it's reacting, right? as an individual ticker symbol tesla as it plays out keep in mind these cues and points of reference i hope they're helpful and i'm really excited to announce that tesla is going to get added to the s p 500 index it has been confirmed here and it's going to go ahead and be able to make that impact on the s p 500 i'm looking forward to the most knowing the exact amount or percentage that it's going to weigh towards the S&P 500 index. So that's going to be something big in the coming months and probably entering into the beginning of next year. So we're going to see how this all plays out. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.